This is the sub-assembly area. When we're manufacturing the machines, we can't afford the downtime over there for guys to be putting small parts together. So in this area, they sub-assemble components. And the components, uh, as they go through the process, at any given time, there's approximately 100 machines in uh, production on this floor. So there's a hell of a lot of parts that have to go through. And these people here are cross-trained to produce any part that assembly needs. And if you'll look, you see up there, there's a crow's nest. And we've taken and put crow's nests throughout the building so that we don't take up any floor space, because floor space is at a premium here. Right. But that uh, group leader there can call down here, and you'll see there's a little cheat board up here. See this board? Yeah. Okay, when, when people first are cross-trained in here, they'll, they'll know an AV or an AD or an AF. Once they learn what that is, then he can call down to these people, so they new people who don't know part numbers and descriptions, and say, give me 100 AFs. So the next person that's right. available will be able to do 100 AFs for him. After they've been here for a few years, they start to know the descriptions, the names, and so forth, and then they just read off of a, uh, a target sheet. We do all of our sub-assemblies here, and if you'll notice, everything we do is specific. If you look at the screws, this screw is glossy. This screw is dull. That means this screw has been prepared to use a Loctite. If you have a Loctite, you can't use it with an oil on the screw. So everything is done exactly to spec. So you'll take an example, this component. It looks like a pulley in a shaft, but in reality, you've got one, two, three keys, one shaft, two set screws, one pulley, two retaining rings. So you've got a ton of parts just to make one part. And you can tell by the color of the component that this is actually heat treated. So it has a longevity factor in the machines because it's a part. This is your actually your drive pulley for your heads on your uh, machine. All right. So it's cycling back and forth mm -hmm. constantly yeah. all day long in many shops 24 hours a day. So they'll build it through. Every nut in the uh, facility has a torque. So they'll set the torque wrenches and they'll be able to go in and set the torque on every part as they do it. So we're either 100% right or we're 100% wrong. Mm -hmm. But every part will be the same. Yeah. Okay. So as they flow through here, uh, here you've got a, this is a front pulley on your the uh, front of your head and your belt that drives your motor, that's uh, driven by the motor goes over this. This part that's being made here, you can see she's sub-assembling there. So she'll put every part together and then it will be QC'd here. Once we do QC here, so every step has a QC process, so when you get over to the assembly area, there's no rejects. Any rejects of any part that's machined improperly or not deburred properly or whatever will be caught through assembly. So QC starts here. We even make our own cylinders. This is, this is the chopper, sil uh, the, the um, cylinder to lock your squeegee and your flood bars. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll Take actually, three of those. <laughs> we'll bring in the extrusion, as, as you see here. We take the extrusions, we bring them in, there's a spring, there's a cap, and a piston. So the machine is, des uh, we design our own tools to make the, the parts. So they open these up and they'll drop in this unit, hit the lock, they'll drop in the piston, throw this over, put the cap on, come down, throw the cap on. A typical application here for an operator sitting here making these cylinders, they have to make approximately 400 of these per day Wow! in order to keep up with the normal production. Every single part is manufactured. We're vertical. Yeah. We're totally vertical on every part. We could appreciate that. Yeah, it, 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 it keeps you from having downtime. Yeah. Uh, simple feature, a manual lock. Mm -hmm. On a manual lock, you know, 
For you, you, you see a knob put in here, a stud, a cup washer. Well, for us, it's gonna be thousands of them. So even things like making a, a clamp is set up so that an operator can make these fairly quickly where they can put in the knob, the stud, the cup washer extremely fast because you have to make a lot to keep up with this type of flow. As they finish up all the parts through here, they'll get dropped over here. So you're starting to see your motor, your gearbox, your cylinders are now mounted to the bar, mm -hmm. your angle adjustments are on, and it's prepared to now, when they put it on over there, it's two hoses, four, uh, two knobs, two screws, and you're done. So they set all of this up, and when they're ready to build the machine, they'll come over with a cart. And if it's a 10 color, they'll grab 20 of these, they'll get 10 of those, 10 of these, 10 of those, put them on the cart, and they'll roll the cart out over to the head assembly department to produce that specific machine for the I just customer. I have a question on one of those. Yeah. On my, one of my heads, I have air that will shoot out of here every so often. Okay, what, what you've got going is when you're putting this in, you've got a notch in your squeegee. Mm -hmm. Wherever, if you put your notch partial, you put a side load on here, mm -hmm. and it'll the side load will make the, the seal on the inside tilt. Okay. And when it tilts, it'll bleed out past there. So just reposition your uh, squeegee just a little bit, okay. and that'll stop. Because we, we have to give you enough knots that you can move them in and out comfortably. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it allows you also to position it to where your side load neck clamp. Okay. This is your carriages on the press. The carriages are designed, as you can see, he's using a torque wrench to put the screws in. Every screw has a specification. Some we want Loctited, some we don't. So what he's doing here is he's setting the torque on every screw accordingly. And that nylon block he can take these chopper systems, drop them into place, and everything happens extremely quick. Mm -hmm. He will assemble a carriage like that in approximately five minutes from start to finish. Even his tubing, everything is cut to length so that he doesn't have to uh, deal with that. There's a guy over there that just cuts tubing yeah. to keep things flowing. After he's done with them, he'll drop them over here. Here, he's putting a, the micro register together for a diamond bag. So he'll, he can put the whole process together. And again, we've made tools to hold like the, uh, the casting, the flip up casting for the screen holder. So everything, again, goes through a, a assembly process, but very meticulously, everything the same.